As more of you cha- uh, raise yourselves to meet the challenge, so we can awaken more of these energies. Now, energy is consciousness, and the energies themselves contain the knowledge and the information which is beginning to service again in your consciousness. So many of you will remember the Atlantean times. You will remember that you communicated with, say, dolphins and whales. You understood these other sentient creatures. This is the lion and the lamb period I was talking about earlier. You could levitate. You could manifest things. You could cause spontaneous combustion by not miraculous means at all. Once you know what you're doing, these things follow. It's a matter of order. Now, I'm looking at a time on your planet when these energies, this knowledge, is reawakened and reintegrated into your consciousness. I'm not looking at a time when this knowledge will be for the few, but when your whole planet will be awakened to this understanding, which you have simply forgotten. It's not a matter of new information. It's a matter of remembering who you are and where you come from. So you're being asked to change. You are being asked to change in a total way. It is not a matter of small changes, a little thing here, a little thing there. You really uh, are being asked to turn yourselves inside out. There is a massive shadow which must be cleared, and it is up to you, light workers, as it referred to, such as yourselves, to focus yourselves on that challenge. Those of you who are in the forefront of this, you are rather like a snowplow. You are the thin end of the wedge. You really have, how shall I put this, to a certain extent, I suppose, you have the shitty end of the job. You have got to do an awful lot, but nevertheless, you are capable of doing an awful lot. That is why you have chosen to come. That is why you are here, what you are here for, to really, (laughs) decoded by the psychic, to really shovel some shit and therefore make some space behind you to make it easier for the others. Now, as in your human body, there are energy lines around your planet, through your planet, which correspond, I suppose, very much to the acupuncture lines and meridians in your body. Where two lines cross, you create a vortex, a tiny vortex if it's two. The more lines that intersect, the bigger the vortex. Therefore, where you have a chakra, you have a large vortex of intersecting energy. It is the same with your planet. Where most lines cross, there is the biggest vortex. Now, you could say that the plexus in and around the islands you call the British Isles is the hub of the wheel of plexuses and energies which surround your planet. It has acted in other times like a fail-safe device. In order to um, activate these chakra points upon your planet, the energies must pass through the central point. They must pass through the heart of the pattern. And that latter piece is one of the major, perhaps the major reasons, why the Illuminati have focused so massively on the United Kingdom, Britain, the British Isles, uh, these tiny little islands which have um, more standing stone circles and ancient earthworks for square mile than anywhere else in the world, particularly along the western side of the country and across the Irish Sea into Ireland, because the ancients knew where these vortex points were and, uh, and, and they built their stone circles and stuff on that. Another thing that seems to be happening, which I'm picking up as the, um, the months pass, is that stuff that's not reported in the uh, mainstream media, obviously, and mainstream science, is that there are changes going on in the sun uh, which are very um, uh, different. That could well be another manifestation of this energetic change because the ancients um, who focused on the sun, yes, people focused on the sun because it was, it was warm, it was the source of warmth and, and, uh, and uh, uh, growth and all the rest of it. But there's another level where the sun is not just, not just a, uh, a source of warmth. It is actually a, a generator of energy, knowledge, information, which, um, which uh, we pick up as well. It's... Um, The sun is very, very much more than it appears to be. And so this energetic change is now happening and it's waking more and more people up. And we've got a choice to lay back on the airbed or go on the canoe and flow with it and enjoy it. Or we can try to hold it back and we can try to all hold on to our old lives and the old way of doing things and the old perceptions, in which case we're going to be using more and more energy just trying to stand still and hold on to what was because this energy of transformation is going to change everything. And one of the things it's going to do is break up this structure, which is an energetic construct that has been put together to enslave us 
and it's going to bring about eventually the kind of world that was here before as this construct uh, breaks up in the face of this correction and we have this time to choose whether we're going to go with it or whether we're just going to try to hold on to what uh, the life that um, we've had before and the perceptions we've had before and um, the choice that fork in the road I said earlier is to go with the head and the mind and let that dominate our perception and decision making or to go with the heart and let our feelings and intuitive knowing lead us in the directions that we need to go if we feel I'm not telling people what to do it's not my job it's none of my business but I can tell you like I said earlier what transformed my life is when I decided that when this and this were at odds I was going with this and I tell you what it transforms your life from an existence to a uh, an amazing uh, synchronistic uh, series of coincidences that make life much more interesting much more enjoyable and much more uh, f- full of vitality than just mind following the programs round and round and round and round and like I just said earlier you know the breakdown of the old structure which I'm increasingly convinced is what's happening you know the Illuminati and the reptilians and all this stuff you know they think they're in control but they're not really I mean compared with consciousness and, and the, the fuller um, uh, expansion of, 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 of reality I mean they're a fly on an elephant's back really and they think they're bringing many many things about at this time but what's I mean who's controlling who and what I think we're seeing is the breaking down of the old energetic construct which is going to allow the new one to replace it as the correction comes in very, very much more than it appears to be.